And joining me now is the marketing and athlete leadership manager of Special Olympics Northern California, Tyler Crockmall. Tyler, thank you so much for joining us here at Live in the Bay. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Yes, of course. So this is an incredible opportunity that people can get involved in. So first and foremost, tell me about Special Olympics Northern California and what you guys do. So Special Olympics is a year-round organization serving people with intellectual disabilities. That can be Down syndrome, uh, autism, and others. Um, we provide free sports programs, health resources, uh, leadership training, and schools programs um, to serve those athletes, allow them to make friends, experience joy, be a part of a team, um, and really showcase their abilities and unique talents rather than focusing on um, any perceived disabilities. And do you guys do an annual, we were, we, I know we saw some video earlier of kind of this big event that was housed in Santa Clara, I believe that was last year. Do you guys do that every single year and is that coming up soon as well? Every year, so Summer Games is our biggest championship competition. It's coming up June 28th through 30th, 30th this year at Santa Clara University. Three days of competitions, um, three different sports, thousands of athletes and coaches. And uh, shout out to Kyla, who's going to be our opening ceremony uh, MC. So we have a lot of fun that weekend. Yeah. And what is that event all about for anyone that's not familiar? Um, so our athletes compete in regional events and they qualify for this championship event. So this is our biggest event here in Northern California. They competed in tennis, bocce, swimming, or track and field, have an opportunity to earn gold medals. Um, they get to stay in the dorms and eat the food. We have a big dance, which is awesome. Um, they receive health screenings. And it's an opportunity for, again, them to celebrate all of their accomplishments and be cheered on by family and friends and, and members of the community. It's all free to come out and join. Yeah, what a special event that gets to showcase all of their just amazing talents and really giving them the real experience because they get to stay there um, just kind of like you would at the Olympics, right? Yeah. You're traveling, you're staying there. It's kind of like a whole event surrounding that. So that is incredible. How does Special Olympics just impact the community? I know that we just touched on that, but what is one of the you know main ways that you guys focus on really impacting the community and making a difference? I think it's really about inclusion. Um, so many times people with in, in any kind of disability, but especially intellectual disabilities are, um, they may have special services or special things and aren't maybe able to be part of a team or make friends or um, get a job or be in school. And we're all about bringing people together. And again, showcasing that we're all more alike than we are different. Um, and sports is a great universal language to to do that because everyone can kind of relate to sports and the things that are happening on the field or in the pool or on the court. Um, so when they see our athletes compete, experience that joy, um, it adds a little bit of perspective in their lives and, and hopefully, again, just builds a more connected, inclusive community. You guys are partnering with the House and Dreams Raffle for a very big fundraiser. Tell me about this partnership and just what people can, how they can participate and what they can win. Yeah, so this is very cool. Our House and Dreams raffle is going on um, right now. So people have the opportunity to win thousands of, of prizes. There's a cash prize every single week um, given away. And our grand prize is the, um, the house that was shown. So four bedroom, four and a half, beautiful house in, in Danville, um, or the winner's choice of a million dollars cash. Wow, so, yeah, and we're seeing big. video right now of the house, and it just looks incredible. So how can people purchase those raffle tickets and make sure they got a chance uh, to not only support Special Olympics Northern California, but to win those prizes? Yeah, so it's on our website, norcalraffle.com, or sonc.org is our Special Olympics website. Um, this is our first year doing this. So we really are looking for support in getting those tickets sold. Um, but that also means that people have uh, the best chance and the best odds to win if they purchase those tickets right now. Um, purchasing through June 7th to have a chance to win the house. And uh, yeah, I would encourage everybody to purchase a ticket, uh, take a chance, and change your life. Yeah, it's, it's incredible. The, the best part about it is, you know, it's, you're obviously wanting to win something, and these are great prizes, but you're making a difference, and you are really helping out the community. Um, so, you know, how, other, how else can people get involved with Special Olympics Northern California? Um, in addition to the raffle, do, are you guys looking for volunteers? What are other ways that people can participate? Absolutely. Always looking for volunteers. So I mentioned all of our programs are are free, so we rely so much on volunteers and volunteer coaches and volunteers at events to come out and help us. Um, so we have a lot of volunteers 
uh, throughout the year. Summer Games is our, one of our biggest, just because it has the biggest amount of athletes and the biggest amount of, of people there. So uh, definitely looking for volunteers that weekend if anybody's in Santa Clara wants to come down and um, really just have a great time and, and experience that joy of, of Special Olympics. And I think uh, any, usually anyone who comes out wants to come back again. Yeah, and before I let you go, just one final question. Tyler, what's the most special part about all of this for you, um, just being a part of Special Olympics Northern California? It's just the individual lives that, that get changed and seeing our athletes grow. Um, they get told that they can't do things a lot or um, are, are put down or maybe put in a box. And to see them grow, push outside those boxes and realize their full potential, whatever that is, whether it's on the field or in the community or in the workplace, um, just a really, really cool thing. And that happens with one and it, it makes my heart full. Um, we have thousands of, of athletes all across Northern California. so. Just a really great, great experience. Well, Tyler, thank you so much for joining us here at Live in the Bay and sharing all about it and just how people can get involved. Um, I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Yes, of course.